A familiar sight, the flow of traffic cutting through downtown Los Angeles. Welcome to 2K Sports. What could be better than kicking back on a Sunday afternoon watching the NBA? Alongside Chris Weber and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson, the fourth member of our crew, Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, Brian. As you know, DeJounte Murray is scrappy. He said, quote, it's in my DNA. I've always been a dog. If I don't score a point, I'm going to rebound or facilitate or play defense. That's the thing that you've got to have. I just do anything to win. Guys, they love his competitive streak. Boy, he does get after it. Thanks, Allie. Taking a look at some numbers here for Lottie Walker. He's been playing a larger role in their offense over the past five games. And we see that in his usage rates, which has gone up during that stretch. We'll see if they continue to lean on him here tonight. And a look at the starters for the Spurs. Murray and White in the backcourt. Then there's Jakob Pertl. Then there's Johnson. And it's Bates Diop in at the four. And for the Lakers, we've got Anthony Davis. Anthony is out there with Taylor and Horton Tucker. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Bradley in at the two spot. And we talk about rookies getting early playing time these days. Chris, you were counted on in your first season. Yeah, yeah, and, and it was fun, B.A. I mean, my rookie year in Golden State, I averaged over 30 minutes a game. Uh, baptism by fire. <laughs> but uh, it, it definitely helped my game grow. Pass to Bates Diop. Back to Murray. Shot from the low post is good. The first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. Yeah, I, I'm curious to see which team is able to dictate the pace tonight as well as the style of play. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now here's Pirtle. Nine points in his last outing. Pass to Murray. Shot clock at six. Back to Johnson. Here's Pirtle. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Offensive rebounding is all about wanting it. Fantastic effort there, leading to second chance points. Now here's Johnson. Nine points for him in his last game. White, the pass to Pirtle. And it's blocked by Davis. He's outstanding at using his wingspan to erase shots. Johnson against Westbrook. And Pirtle gets it to go on the assist by Johnson. Pirtle's gotten his second bucket of the game. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. A great display of unselfishness. Westbrook is solid at realizing when one of his guys is open. The Spurs have gone three of five shooting so far. White against Davis. White can't hit. The Lakers have gone two of three to get this one going. And you talk to anyone about White. Grant, they'll tell you that he's best when he's being assertive. I totally agree. I mean, White can be caught standing around when he's not involved. You want him initiating and pick and roll, and he makes pretty good decisions. Now, he may never be a star, but he's going to give you solid minutes. But the defensive specialist, Bradley, now a veteran, he's proven to be a guy who can contribute well as a starter or a bench reserve. Westbrook, the pass to Davis. There's the drive. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. And he's able to get it back. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Peter Bates Dion. At the line for the Lakers, Anthony Davis. That free throw, good from Davis. One of my favorite bigs in the entire NBA. Anthony Davis is on the floor. It's appointment viewing only. Here's Bates Diop. Coming off a 12-point game. Here's White. Back to Pirtle. White finds Pirtle. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. 
Jacob Poto. And no luck at the stripe this time. Second one won't fall. The Lakers in the lead. From 11 feet away, buries the jump shot. He has the shot in his back. I mean, I like when Westbrook gets yeah. the shot. They're having a hard time stopping this run. And B.A. can't afford to keep coming up empty. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. You know, last game, they matched up with the Mavs. A tough loss there. It's a fine line between playing with urgency and being out of control. And they cross that line. I mean, and there's really no excuse for it. They know they need to play more in control. Eubanks, he's checked in for Pirtle. Here's Murray. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Uh, with the D playing soft off him, he might have been better off taking it to the hoop instead of settling for the jump. And Davis slams it home. Oh, it's no secret that Davis can be a dominant figure on the offensive glass. I mean, and he turns those rebounds into points. Murray against Anthony. Bradley grabs the board. For Los Angeles, they've gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. And it's Davis penetrating. Uh -oh. Davis putting some extra on the And that was our AT&T 5G slam cam, bringing you the sauce. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Murray. Pass to White. Outside Murray. To the middle. Here's Eubanks. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Oh, great float in that possession. Two players totally in sync with each other. And the Lakers call time here. One of the more improved players over the last few years. Murray has thrived in his high usage role. You just wonder how good can this kid become? And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Howard's checked in for Anthony. Ellington comes in for Horton Tucker. Monk, he's checked in for Bradley. And it's Rondo in for Russell Westbrook. A big group substitution here for San Antonio. McDermott's checked in for Bates Diop. Vassell comes in for Johnson. Walker, he's checked in for White. And Forbes subbed in for Murray. San Antonio with the ball. Following the score by the Lakers. Lakers. Out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. And it's really incredible the number of ways Murray can affect a game. I mean, I totally agree, B.A. I mean, he creates for himself and others. One of the best rebounders in the league at his position. And boy, is he disruptive on defense. And how about the mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Forbes can't get it to go. For Los Angeles, they've gotten seven of their first 12 shots to go. Here's Howard. The putback. It's good on the putback. This quarter expending tremendous energy at the offensive end. And he's not slowing down. He's still calling for it. Pass to McDermott. Driving inside. Rebounded by the Lakers. You know, they beat the Spurs during their last encounter in San Antonio. Well, in this last matchup, they well, captured the win yeah. in large part because their backups provided a lot of the scoring punch. Well, well, it's such a boost. I mean, not something you want to have to count on every night, but you can tell how much they trust their reserves. A nice shot by Walker. With his level of quickness, it's tough to keep up defensively. Ellington can't hit. San Antonio shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. Walker against Monk. Here's Eubanks. Howard grabs the miss. A fantastic effort on D to get up in his face and deny the layup. San Antonio foul. Really? Inside. And there's wow. Howard. That okay. one's good. On the assist by Davis. Yeah, their aggressive approach on the offensive glass has created second chance opportunities. Pass to Forbes. Launches it. Howard grabs the miss. Los Angeles has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Count it. One for one to start the game. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. It's that simple. Here's Eubanks, guarded by Howard. Now Rondo. 
deflected. And they're able to recover. And an overpowering first quarter effort. Already a double-digit advantage. Lakers ahead, leading by 17. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. to have you with us second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one guys the lakers enjoying a nice lead here you can really see the strategy coming in get the ball into the painted area old school approach i mean if you have a favorable matchup inside just keep pounding it in there davis slides in at four with howard playing center rajon rondo out there with malik monk and it's Ellington in at the three slot. That's the group for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. Now here's Walker. He's coming off a 19-point game against Dallas. And yeah, his energy level in that game was amazing. He did all that work offensively and controlled the boys, too. Davis can't hit. It's been a devastating night for them. Nothing has come easy, Grant. Nothing indeed. Even when they've tried to make adjustments, it just hasn't worked. Here's Forbes, looking for his first basket still in this one. Just five on the clock. Fires from 14. Vassell can't get it to go. The Lakers have got nothing to go in this quarter. 0 for 5. Monk for 3. Offensive rebound. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. What good is it to get stops if you can't keep them off the boards? Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. And injuries are part of sports. Sometimes the team has to hold a player back and say, you're not healthy enough to play. Chris, that's got to be a tough conversation. Yeah, and teams, PA, they're more cautious now than even back in my day, I'll tell you what. Players can get angry, but you got to respect an organization that's looking out for you. Think about it. We've had some pretty horrific injuries where maybe the organization should have been more cautious. The Spurs making a switch here. Bates Diop, he's checked in for McDermott. Johnson comes in for Vassell. White, he's checked in for Walker. And it's DeJounte Murray in for Forbes. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. No good with the triple. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. Quarter two and about two minutes in. The Spurs have gotten only one of four shots to go in. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Davis. And finished Davis. off by Davis. He can down. I mean, beat you up in so many ways. And Davis is giving this D a thump in the night. Here's Murray. Here's Pirtle. And he battles for the ball, he gets the second Pirtle. chance bucket. Pirtle's got six points. I wouldn't want to be the guy who has to keep him off the boards. He is a beast on the offensive lines. Here's Anthony. Count it. One for one to start the game. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. For San Antonio, they've got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. White finds Murray. Driving to the basket. And it's Murray finishing it off. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. No, oh, but his teammates love that kind of energy, fellas. I mean, dunks like this demonstrate leaders. And the Spurs making a change here. Eubanks has checked in. And for the Lakers, they're shooting a solid 47%. Anthony. And Anthony slams it in. Gives up a lot of size to most other power fours, but not too many of them can fly like he can. For San Antonio, they've gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Step back shot. Murray, no good. And the Lakers shooting only 31% in the second quarter of this one. You really get it all with Russell Westbrook. His versatility as a player is truly exceptional. That's what allows him to crank out triple-doubles one after another. A challenging stretch here for San Antonio. 
And it's Johnson with a drive. Soft touch off the glass. Oh, good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. And a two-handed jam! He's been playing great unselfish basketball. Really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. Yeah, he's just not giving the ball up. He's passing with a purpose. And this lead the scores. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for Los Angeles. They're doing great work on the boards in the early going, especially at the offensive end. Those second chance points are starting to add up. They're also jumping on a lot of turnovers and making sure they turn them into points at the other end. And while Westbrook has led the league in triple doubles many seasons, I think that stat is also a testament to his hustle. Yeah, when it comes to pure energy, Westbrook is maybe unmatched. He's the ultimate hard worker. Every minute he's on the floor, he's doing his best to make an impact on the game. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Coaching turnover is a fact of life in the NBA. Grant, as a player, how tough is it to adapt to a new coach? Well, it depends on the timing. I mean, an offseason change gives the team a time to get used to a new system. Now, if it happens in midseason, it could be a little tough. The learning curve is definitely steep. The Spurs making a switch here. Vassell's checked in. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. They needed that. I love that he just didn't settle for the lead. Here's White following the score by the Lakers. Rebound, the Lakers. Anthony's got four rebounds now. He's not using his head this score. He's got to get back to finding how to set the shots. This system is set up perfectly for him today. I mean, it's allowing him to find a lot of good shots. Pass to Murray. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got 11 rebounds in the game. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. They get it again. Here's Anthony. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Oh, Anthony's got hey. six in the quarter. He's finally coming around, trying to make up for that goose egg he put up in the first quarter. Here's Murray. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Free throw drops from Murray. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Howard's checked in for Anthony. Ellington comes in for Horton Tucker. Monk, he's checked in for Bradley. And it's Rondo in for Westbrook. McDermott's checked in for San Antonio. Walker comes in for White. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They should continue to ride the hot hand. The Spurs have gotten 7 of 15 shots here in the second quarter. Walker with it, and Howard picks him up defensively. Here's Vassell. 14 points for him, last game against Dallas. Count it. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. And it's Howard finishing it off. I'll tally up another helper for Rondo. He just keeps climbing that all-time assist list. Incredible career that keeps going. Outside Walker. Just three on the clock. Banked it in off the glass. That'll drive your coach crazy. Failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, it's simple. When you fail to put a body on someone, you're inviting a breakdown on the defensive glass. And so it's Anthony Davis making things happen for Los Angeles. He had solid production this quarter with scoring and rebounding. All right, now let's check in with Ali LaForce. Ali, what do you have? Thanks. I'm here with Coach Popovich. And, Pop, I know you're not happy with the first half. They've taken the fight to you thus far. How do you take it back? Yeah, they've been the, the aggressive team. I think we played really soft so far. Really pathetic defensive performance. Coach, hopefully more toughness from your team in the second half. Thanks. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show.
A tremendous game we're seeing from Anthony Davis. He ended up with 26 points, 11 rebounds, and one block. Coming off a great game last time out, he's turning it up a notch already here tonight. What do you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Lakers? The work they put in on the glass has been magnificent. Truly an all-hands-on-deck attack. Give them credit for being the more aggressive team. Rebounding is one of the stats that sometimes gets overlooked, but not tonight. Shaq, let's get your thoughts on San Antonio. They've been struggling to get shots in general, but down low, they've been paper soft. Hate to say it. Giving up way too many easy looks. If they can't protect the rim more effectively in the second half, it's going to be a long ride home. Excited first half. We'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. And given that he's just delivered a double double through two quarters, I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night. It could be one of those epic games, but we still have a long way to go. Here's who Greg Popovich is starting the second half with Murray and White in the backcourt. Then it's Keldon Johnson. Then there's Jakob Hurdle. And it's Bates Diop in at the power forward position. He was grabbing the rim to extend the hang time. Hey, maybe making sure the landing was kinder than the takeoff. Shoots from the baseline. Bradley misses. Johnson finds Murray. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. We've seen more than a few miscues from them tonight. Yeah, you got to be locked in at all times. Their inconsistent play is a big reason why they're losing. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. Let's see if that block can amp up this team. I mean, they're looking for anything to get themselves going. He goes up, and it's Murray finishing it off. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Oh, yeah, bang, bang. Impressive sequence that has them fucked up. Another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Outside Murray. Pass to Pirtle. Outside Johnson. Now here's Murray. Back to Johnson. Five to shoot. And it's blocked by Davis. And he recovers it. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. Forbes is checked in for San Antonio. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Time out called for the Lakers. And we're about a minute and a half in the second half. And Davis with the basket on the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. And Russell Westbrook on the move once again, this time to the Lakers. Now, what's interesting, I mean, he played so long for the OKC Thunder and now on his fourth team in the past four years. But still, you can't deny the impact when he's on the floor. Clock at four. Here's Bates Diop. Boom! He jams it straight down. He flashes to the rim and is met with no resistance. Here's Horton Tucker. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. <laughs> no debate there. He got him. Taylor Horton Tucker. And so he makes both from the line. The Spurs have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Outside Murray. Pass to Pirtle. Outside Johnson. Murray with it. Pounded by Westbrook. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. Bradley. That's good. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Pirtle with the ball. Pass to Bates Diop. Here's Forbes. Fires the three. Knocks it down from distance. Forbes has gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Bradley with a drive. That's good. And so Westbrook.
Westbrook with the assist. Westbrook's got his ninth assist of the game now. For San Antonio, they've gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Bates Diop. Outside Murray. Floats one up, and the layup is good. Murray's gotten four this quarter. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Davis gets to the line. And people don't talk about it. He's an excellent foul shooter, about 80% most seasons. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Howard's checked in for Anthony. Ellington comes in for Horton Tucker. Monk, he's checked in for Bradley. And it's Rondo in for Westbrook. A big group substitution here for San Antonio. Eubanks, he's checked in for Pirtle. McDermott comes in for Bates Diop. The Cell, he's checked in for Johnson. And it's Walker in for Murray. Rondo gets the bucket. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Now here's Walker. Checked by Rondo. Here's McDermott. Howard grabs the miss. Howard's got rebound number seven tonight. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. In 2016, the NBA Players Association made history voting to extend health insurance to retired players with at least three years of service. Chris Paul said, quote, they paved the way for our game. This is just the little that we could do. Whenever my tenure is up as president of the union, that will be easily the greatest achievement. Brian? Boy, that is big time, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you for that. Anthony's checked in for Howard. Goes up on the baseline. And that one comes up a bit short. Now look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You, you can't blame him for letting that one fly. Anthony, stripped away. There's a whistle. That goes on Carmelo Anthony. That's foul number two for him. White, he's checked in 4-4. Outside White. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Three-pointer, Anthony. The shot, no good. San Antonio goes the other way with it. Outside, Walker. Shoots over Monk. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Malik Monk picks one up. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Lakers. Their inside game has been great tonight. So much of their scoring has come from the paint. Another thing that jumps out to me is the big number of assists that they made over the course of this game. White can't hit. No matter what he's tried, it hasn't worked. Unfortunately, the team is suffering from that. Here's Anthony. And that one's long. For San Antonio, they've gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. 29 seconds left in the third. Monk for three. Buries it from three. Monk's got his first three points of the game. Well, it's all about confidence for Monk. I mean, he, he looked assured that time. Wide with it, and Davis picks him up defensively. The rebounding numbers make it obvious why they're in front. Yeah, sure. I mean, when you take care of the backboard, you can limit teams to one shot. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And leaving no error with the putback stand. Davis doesn't mess around on the offensive board. McDermott for three. It's off. And so it's Los Angeles. A huge 24-point lead for them. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fella with the sweetest pass of the day. Makes it a tough play to defend because you also have to guard against him taking it himself. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Anthony Davis is out there with Carmelo Anthony. Then there's Rajon Rondo. Then it's Malik Monk. And it's Ellington in at the three spot. That's the Laker five. Pass to Vassell. Just five to shoot. Spurs need to get one up here. Eubanks. And he slams it in one-handed. Look, he may not be thought of as big for a center. With his ability to go vertical, he sure plays big. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Well, over the last few years, the NBA has worked to make the schedule more manageable, Chris. That includes fewer back-to-backs. Yeah, and for us fans, that's been a great adjustment. Uh, those back-to-backs, uh, it could be a struggle at times. We want to make sure the players are there, especially on the road. So the fans can come see. And the Lakers making a change here. Westbrook's checked in. The Spurs shooting only 42%. Murray against Westbrook. Murray passes to Pirtle. Yep, that one's good. Sometimes you don't need a haymaker. Just, just a jab. You, you, you got to get those easy looks inside. Here's Ellington. Vassell with the rebound. Now he hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. It's a good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. And he drives in. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Oh, I like the bounce pass. There. He's getting creative. To the paint. Here's Westbrook. Uses the glass on the layup. You know Westbrook has never been afraid to take it inside. Great size advantage for a point guard. 200 solid pounds. Now here's Walker. Here's Murray. Good. And it's Walker who picks up the assist. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. One of the more mobile bigs in the league. Davis is a real threat on the track. Down low. Here's Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. The three. They get the rebound. Davis hits. Davis has got 11 points here in the second half. Well, this is where you want to get AD a shot. So, I mean, that's almost automatic. Outside Murray. Pass to Vassell. Here's Pirtle. Ooh, coming Take through again. Pirtle. Shooting five for seven now. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Monk for three. San Antonio with a rebound. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. Well, see, Webb, what a terrific development it's been to see the resurgence of pro hoops in New York. For sure, yeah. The league is always more fun than this buzz in the Dick Apple. You know. Here's hoping the New York teams uh, make some noise in the next few years to come. And San Antonio has possession. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. The D making that layup look very uncomfortable for him. Good aggressive work down low. Anthony misses. The Spurs have gotten six of eight shots to fall during this fourth. Here's Johnson. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got seven assists in the game. And it's Davis penetrating. And finished off by Davis. Momentum taking it to the bucket. It's just about a sure thing that AD is going to throw it down. San Antonio calls timeout. Coach is not happy with their effort on the defensive class. They're giving up way too many second chance points. All right, time now to present our new balance player of the game, DeJounte Murray. Yeah, really the standout element of this game tonight was his offense and his ability to get inside by cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking the hoop. Horton Tucker, he's checked in for the Lakers. Bradley comes in for Monk.
here in the fourth quarter just under two and a half gone by outside Murray to the inside hurdle he's now six for eight from the floor coach is loving the ball movement Davis drives in and Davis slams it home that's just a perfect focus right there. I mean, I like how Davis takes the hit and yeah. just keeps working to get to the bucket. The Spurs have gotten 8 of 10 attempts in. Very productive here in the fourth. And C. Webb, you had such a well-rounded game, especially for a big man in your era. How do you think your game influenced big men that are playing today? Well, I definitely see parts of my game, you know, in a lot of guys that play today. And hopefully uh, the fact that, you know, I feel that as a big man, you can step out, you can ball handle, you can pass, uh, you can just be a player. But hopefully that allows them a little bit of freedom to do their thing, because these players today are great. And even if I see parts of my game in there, man, they're doing the work and they're taking the game to the next level. San Antonio shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. White, the pass to Murray. Knocked away. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. And it's the Lakers on the break. And he lays it in. Westbrook's got four points this quarter. Oh, I like it when Westbrook takes chances on defense. This is how he comes away with steals. I think we can say that shot is well within his range. Yeah, let's hope so. Davis can't hit. 121 left to play in the fourth quarter. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Lakers. A pair of tremendous rebounding teams. And these guys played a little harder tonight, and that was the edge they needed. And this will push their total wins for the year up to 11. But they've got two more chances to get some revenge. The matchup doesn't favor them, but against a conference opponent, they're going to battle hard. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Anthony Davis. Well, the best work he did came on the boards. Nobody could match his intensity. His rebounding played a big role in this win. Now, here is Howard. Pass to Jordan. Here's Bazemore. Kept alive. Controls the rebound and the putback. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. Uh, that's why they're in the driver's seat right now, looking to put this one away. Here's Primo. Los Angeles foul. At the line for the Spurs. And he makes a first. Yeah. And the Spurs making a change here. Eubanks is checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. And there's wow. Howard. That it's one's good. good. On the assist by Westbrook. Hey, Westbrook. guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. Ooh, rejected by Jordan. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jordan. Coming in the ball for your Lakers. And that'll be San Antonio's ball as it goes out of bounds. Spurs able to keep the possession. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. I uh, appreciate the effort, though, making his presence felt defensively. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jordan. Pass to Primo. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Brown. And the reach of Howard affecting that shot. And that one hits the back iron. Down low. Jordan with the bucket. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Uh, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove insurmountable. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. Showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what, give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. AD, a big night for you offensively. Seemed like you were willing this team to victory. Did you feel that way? 
yeah, um, this whole day, you know, I was talking to myself just saying, be dominant. You know, this is a time where you be dominant, take over games. Um, and that's what I'm trying to do all tonight. Just trying to go out with my opponent, you know, and make the best shots for myself and for my teammates. And we were able to make some big shots, make some big plays. But, you know, we got another one tomorrow, and we got to be dominant as well. You know, and, and it starts with me. Coach and LeBron have said since day one, this offense has to go through you. Thanks, AD. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. Alongside Chris Weber, Allie LaForce and Grant Hill, and the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for joining us. We'll see you next time. The tours can for folk, show me the lack in it. I had to learn to ration it. Protect the feelings of the folk that wouldn't do for mine to back when it's the pacifist. Must pacifist sometimes to bring a balance back and back. We go to active. Folk be fake mad, folk be fake rich, folk be fake woke, folk be fake lit. Rook on the cook, 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 cook